A tale of two DC HBO Max movies. One got turned into a tax credit, and the other one is now going to theaters. That is, uh, you know, definitely a tale of two movies. Uh, you know, complete lack of faith in Batgirl, but surprisingly strong faith in Blue Beetle. I personally, you know, the characters just never gelled for me. I haven't gotten Blue Beetle. I don't like the idea of a, the scarab. I don't like the idea of a sentient armor, right? It's like, who's driving this thing? Uh, I, I did like the movie Upgrade, though. I thought that was really good. Um, but that was also a commentary on technology and stuff like that. But anyway, I mean, this is, this is an alien suit. Or at least it is in the comics. We'll see what they decide to do here. But so I've never really liked the character in comics and animation and video games. But I know that he has a strong, well, I don't know how big the fan base is, but there are definitely Blue Beetle fans out there. Uh, I do like the casting, though. I think that Zolo Mar Mariduena is very likable. On the one season of Cobra Kai that I watched, I was like, that guy's awesome. Uh, so, so I hope this is a great opportunity for him. We've seen them filming. The, the suit looks very good uh, in practical effects. Uh, so let's see how it looks in action. I came to really like Captain America in the movies. I think I really got that character through that. Uh, and I still don't particularly care for Captain America in any other medium. So maybe the same thing would be for Blue Beetle. All right, here we go. That's a nice house. Excuse me, Mr. Reyes. You finished scraping the gum off that lounger or what? Oh. Anything right now feels so out of reach. You always land on your feet, bro. You're high man. They don't get out much. <laughs> I just want to break. Jenny? Girl, the heck with your wife. But do not open it. You went in to get a shops, and all you brought back was a hamburger? Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? What the hell is that? Don't touch it, man. Ah, oh, you touched it. How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. I like the family element. It's Shazam. Whoa. See? This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. What the? Host acquired. Who said that? Okay, it's gonna be okay! Ooh, the roof! No! <gasps> it does look kind of power Free entry systems ready. Wait, 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 no, no. I wish the suit looked as cool as it did when it was first throwing. This ain't what you want. <gasps> what is going on? I just wanna rock. Ah, in this beautiful it's city, why not wear head to toe armor? It's some kind of world destroying weapon. It's designed to protect its host. You say that you want. Sometimes it does what you want, and sometimes it doesn't. I, I, I think I cut a bus in half. How so? Looks like a Sarah chose you, but it belongs to me. Susan Sarandon. Hello, the fear for your family <laughs> makes you weak. The universe has sent you a gift, and you have to figure out what you're gonna do with it. That's right. Whatever you can imagine, I can create. Let's party. Ooh, anime sword. Ah, yeah! <laughs> nice choice. Nice. Whoa! Whoa! It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. I just wanna rap. Stand for this Batman slander. Oh, look, they do that again. Read the comics. Ah, uh, they're okay. I wish that they were putting out better comics at DC if they were going to promote them so heavily. It's like, now you're promoting them when they're at their worst? Uh, they have the Ted Cord suit there. I wonder what the reasoning is behind that. Maybe that's, uh, is that Ted Cord Industries that he was trying to apply to? How do you get a Tony Stark cave? You know, this is kind of very Tony Stark. I don't know how I feel about that. But then, of course, it's different brands, so that's fine. It's DC, you know. Um, I think it's pretty good, you know. I think that's that's a movie for kids, and that's fine. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't know how much money it could make. Uh, you know, it's not world building. It's not connecting to anything else. It's just a cute, fun movie for families. 
So I can see why it was originally set for HBO Max. You know, I think that they have to get a, you know, even even over uh, extending itself has hurt Marvel. You know, it's just, I think that there's a, a limit to, uh, to how many comic book characters the average moviegoer or entertainment person, you know, devourer, right? Audience member can take. That's why I think you're getting superhero fatigue. Uh, you know, for those of us who read comics, you need a stack every week, right? You got the top of your stack, the things that you read right away, the middle of your stack, and then you got the bottom of your stack where you were like, my stack wasn't big enough, so I bought these extra comics to pad it. <laughs> and I may or may not read them. I don't know. Uh, so, I don't know. And I think they should, all, I think for movies and television, they should only be making top of the stack content. Uh, maybe, you know, a couple of risks in the middle of the stack, but we've gotten into the bottom half of the stack these days. And, um, you know, maybe that's unfair to some of the characters, but I think certainly in terms of the quality and the, the the scope and the and the and the reach of the of the product that's being chosen, you know, DC it was also rumored to be thinking of maybe I you know I haven't heard this, but I saw that there was rumors they were going to make. Well, they did admit they were considering a Clayface movie, and then there's rumors they might make a Scarecrow and a Poison Ivy movie, and you're like, what is this Sony? You can't just spin off every Batman villain into their own movie. It's ridiculous. And you know, I don't know if Blue Beetle needed his own movie. I think maybe. As cool as he looks, and I think as charming as this family is, um, you know, I think that maybe it should have been like uh, a Young Justice movie, and he should have been on the team, like he's in the animated series. You know, stuff like that maybe would be the, the you know, the, the better play. I mean, they're even messing up Young Avengers over in Marvel by introducing them like, like by piecemeal instead of just bringing in the team. Uh, but I mean, honestly, I think unless you know a small child or you're like super into DC, you're going to wait to watch this on HBO Max, which was how it was originally envisioned. Uh, so what did you think? What did you think? Share, and honestly, honestly, I mean, I know there'll be some of you who are like, yeah, Blue Beetle forever, man. You know, when, uh, what, August 18th, that's a good month for that to come out. But it's like Spy Kids. It's like, you know, Shazam 2, which was, I think, more of a family movie than the first film. Uh, you know, um, just, you know, a lot of kids' movies come out, actually, in, in this time. Uh, you know, Power Rangers, uh, so, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. And the visual effects look pretty cool. I'd say in some shots, they even look, they look so sharp that it, it looks like animation rather than live action. Uh, you know, you don't feel like you're watching something that's live action anymore. All right, share your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching with me. Subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.